Okay, so you have to give the dogs fresh water and food. Make sure that lid gets closed on tight. Then you'll check this table here. And I will have three plants there. The third one, I'll pat it right now. You want to make sure that the water is topped off on all of them. And I use the jet setting, but I barely squeeze down. Otherwise, it'll shoot you in the face. So I just top it all the way off. Just make sure the plants aren't popping out. They should. They shouldn't, but sometimes they will. And then this one too, which I've already done this morning. So you'll just top it off. Okay. Then you'll come to this plant here. This is the bower vine. You'll switch it over to shower, and you'll just spray it in there. And I already started this one this morning, so you'll see there's a little bit of water at the bottom. When you spray it, try not to get too much of the foliage. Obviously, it's early in the morning, so it's fine because these aren't going to burn. And when the sun hits them, it'll have time for them to dry. But I like to, this is a separate plant right here, the one with the pink flowers. So I make sure that I soak that root ball. So I kind of water the plant from this root ball here. Okay. And water, you should probably, um, you're done when the water starts coming out at the bottom. Like just when it first starts coming out at the bottom. Well, not even. Actually, add a little bit more water than that. You can always call me if it doesn't make sense. Okay, this is the um, purple hyacinth moon. And you're just gonna put the shower very softly. Don't do this on high. You'll blow all the soil out of the way. Okay. This is the rose geranium. Let's give it a squirt. And then these pots. So I have three pots. These are the petunia and sweet potato. If I ever ask you to move the pots, it's probably going to be these ones, just so you know. With the heat coming, I, I'm not sure how they're going to do, honestly. You want to put the water in there. Make sure... There you go. You're not on the edge of the pot like this, but you're in there. And you're gonna do everything very softly. And kind of reach in there because there are three different plants in there. This one you can't really overwater because it's got a really good drain hole and it'll come out the bottom. It's going to be underwatering the pot, so that might be a problem. Okay, same thing over here. Another petunia pot. I'm getting there. Make sure you're not just going over the edge. Water dripping is from the handle, it's kind of a pain. Okay. And the next one. I have three of these petunia pots. And I have two other petunias that are in a more shaded area that you'll water as well. So a total of five of these kind of hanging pots. I wonder how fun it is to water these in the morning, early, early morning. Otherwise, when the water's hitting, it'll, it'll literally blister it, burn it, kill it. Okay. Then while I'm here, this is that last pot. There's a canna lily, which is that little tiny plant, the green one. I'll just lay that down a little bit. Go back and 
to this candle light. Isn't that pretty? And give it a little bit of water. Okay, and then this candle lily. I just do this. A little bit extra. Okay. And then we go over here. And you gotta do the bananas, or not the bananas, but the birds. And this Mexican Heather. The root of this Mexican Heather is over here. So make sure you spray right in there. Try not to get the agave plant. You gotta get in there. It'll all run off just into the the drain. Into the concrete, which I don't want. Okay. There's a few days. I try to water towards the back of the planter. So it doesn't completely drain um, onto the concrete. These pots here, the agave, and I think that's another agave. No, I don't remember the name for this one. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Not at the moment, but you should learn these eventually. Something good to know. <laughs> okay, you're gonna give these a little bit of water. Try not to get it on the plant at all, because it will rot on the, um, in those joints. I'm doing very light pressure, otherwise you'll blow all the soil out, uncovering their roots. Okay. Very little on those. Um, I think that's it for this hose here. Make sure during the day too, when you're watering the dogs, that you're letting all that hot water drain out first. You will burn your hand or just turn off the water and then run the extra stuff out of the hose. You're still gonna get hot water though, so be careful. Okay, now let's go to the backyard. It's right eight and a half minutes right now that you'll wanna be, so far, you know you're gonna need. This hose gets left on, just pull it. Okay, you're gonna give on shower, I'm going to give these two pots a squirt. Why isn't it on? Oh, here. If it doesn't turn on, mess with this. Flip it back. And squirt. And give that one a squirt. Okay. Now you're going to go back here to that elephant ears. Let me see if I can do this without... to loosen it first. Okay, we'll do it like this. We'll go back here, stretch it out. Feel this. Oh, I that on it. This should have force rise in it. 
one falls out, just pop it in. It's super easy. I'll flip it over and pop it in. This will need to get filled twice a day. For sure, twice a day. So once in the morning, once in the afternoon. It's not gonna turn on right away in the morning, but don't be worried. It's not enough sun yet. Okay. Just spray these down a little bit. If you don't have enough time, because these ones will water from the lawn every other day. Elephant ear. You can give this one a split too. Okay. Elephant ear. Spray this one at the base. And you spray, it and you'll see it if I look. Kind of look and see. That's it for the watering, guys. That's 12 minutes. Make sure you give yourself enough time. And then don't forget the poop. I usually try to pick up poop first. I'm not trying to walk around it. Especially just this little bit in the back. Because the hose. You don't want the hose going through the poop. Alright. I love you guys. Bye.